And we're back. Y'all ready for this? No. Oh, um, from our last video. Yeah, I remember, um, I was gonna tell that story about the, the lady who called from the, from the funeral home the other day. So, this lady calls, as many people do, to solicit aggro, I guess. And, um, you know, obviously working from a funeral home, she had a, she had a rather grim tone of voice. And, you know, she was asking him, do you have anybody in, you know, do you have anybody in your family buried in, in the fun in the, uh, cemetery? And, of course, knowing certain people in his family, I, I turn to him and say, well, would you like anybody in your family buried in the cemetery? She did not find me entertaining. Because there is a time and a place, and that was not it. It was hilarious. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but not the time or the place. Yeah, but it's still, like, it's one of those things where if I didn't do that terrible shit that I was thinking of doing, I would have immediately regretted not doing it, so I think that's plenty of uh, justification there. Is it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> And the only reason why she wasn't laughing was because of her dead sense of humor. But um, shh. <laughs> I bet I make you so proud. As proud as any father could be. <laughs> that would be that would wait. What if you were my father? You're saying I'm not? I have no son. <laughs> Apparently, that means you would have got you would have like conceived me at two years old. What can I say? It's pretty studly back then. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Your mother just couldn't keep her hands off of me. <laughs> but, spe speaking of being studly, are you ready for another horrible story? Why not? <laughs> okay, so, um, can we agree on this, that, like, in high school, pretty much everybody has, like, that one person who they just really want to fuck the bejesus out of, but it just kind of never happens. Eh, this is, uh, it's a pretty fair assumption. <laughs> okay. Um, well, in high school, um, there was... Was it me? We didn't even go to the same high school, oh, but wow. yes! Okay. <laughs> yes, though. Definitely. Yes! <laughs> in, in my high school, though, um, this person was in, you know, same graduating class as me. Um... By this point, it's senior year, and, um, like, I've, I've been, like, ogling this chick since, what, like, sophomore year? And I've never expressed this at all, so, like, the frustrations are pretty high. Especially since, like, you know, every year we have in the same, we have to take, like, at least one of the same class. But, um, you know, it's senior year, we both take an English class, and, um, we use a good portion of that time for senior project stuff. I mean, the teacher was a fan of just giving us busy work, so that uh, kind of eased his mind a little bit. But uh, we had to do, we had to turn in a paper and do like a practice presentation for the senior project stuff, and um, like. She was helping a friend with with her project, and uh, it was like about horses and horseback riding, and you know shit that we would never care about. Right. <laughs> yeah. And um, even though we were all sitting in like the same room, and we could easily like speak to each other, the school set up like this little sad attempt at social networking. So we're, like we could like post comments and stuff relating to the presentation that we gave. But, like, the thing that kind of sucked about it was that, um, there was, like, zero anonymity whatsoever. Like, if you posted a comment, it posted as, like, your real full name. I see. Let me guess. You offered to have sex with her over the social network. You dug you. No, not quite. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I'll take that back then. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, they gave their presentation, and it, it, 
you know, they they have like pictures as like part of their slideshow. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of it was like, you know, them riding the horses and whatnot. And I swear to God, like, I thought about this for like maybe like that day and the day after that or so. That if it weren't for the fact that we had zero anonymity, like, all that frustration pretty much would have exploded in like one comment saying something terrible like, I wish that horse was my dick. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Dylan was suspended and never allowed to graduate. <laughs> Doesn't even have a GED. <laughs> oh my god. It, if I actually did that though, and you know, we had screen names and shit like that, and like his teacher wasn't able to track us, because, I mean, let's face it, an English teacher, you can't really expect them to be that skilled in, like, computers and whatnot. Eh, I mean, I feel like it depends on the teacher. Yeah, it does, but... Like, if they're, like, a younger teacher, like, fresh from school, like, you could kind of expect them to know what to do to an extent. I mean, he was probably, like, in his mid, maybe slightly later 30s, I would think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just, like, if if I wouldn't have gotten caught, can you imagine, like, how, like, his reaction to that? Like, it would just be, like, this beautiful rainbow of just anger <laughs> and confusion. You fool. <laughs> Any other hilarious stories for our viewers? Um, not, not for right now, but... You're gonna hate yourself some crabs, eh? No, definitely. <laughs> If there's anything Wolf loves more than telling stories, it's catching crabs. <laughs> of a sexual nature. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Awkward silence. So, Agro, what should we name our gay baby? I was thinking maybe... After myself. <laughs> well, I mean, it would suit you. Not so much the baby, but just you. <laughs> you arrogant piece of shit. It's like, what are you, Kanye West? <laughs> Taking a Kanye rest? <laughs> so he can perform at his Kanye best? <laughs> uh, internets. You never let me down. I yep. low for days. Yep, that's right. Whenever I go to a job interview, and they ask me if I have any questions for them, I say, So, why do you feel you deserve to have me come and work for you? Oh, you caught yourself some crabs. Yep, that's right. I'm gonna nickname this little guy, too. Naturally. Yep. Nope. Stuck with uh, the color thing. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Look, I'm being consistent here. You say that as if, like, you should be applauded for such things. Yes. Because I'm the only person who would think of such a thing. I don't think so. You realize that your first Pokemon is paralyzed. I don't see what the point- I don't see what your problem is here. What does that have to do with me naming? Nothing, it has to do with you throwing it out first. Well, because it's the lowest level, so... Well, I get that, but it's also paralyzed. Yeah, I wasn't planning on using battles for a while anyway. I always thought, like, the, the Team Rocket overworld sprites kind of looked like guys who were, like, just graduating high school. Because, you know, the little cat thing that they have? Uh, I guess, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, Team Rocket has a lot of money. Like, their leader is like a super wealthy businessman. Sure, I mean, it's, they're supposed to be the mob. Essentially. But it's like, they all use really crappy Pokemon. Well, I mean, take a look at Walmart. Kind of the same thing going on here. I mean, the, you know, the... The family that owns Walmart, super wealthy, and yet their employees kind of get treated like shit. Right, but I'm saying, like, as a crime syndicate, yeah, you want to have all of your guys have like the best equipment possible. 
The equipment in this case being they're enslaved Pokemon. Right. It's like, I know that you could buy and sell Pokemon. Like, that's a fact. Yeah. In the game, at least. And, like, in the show and whatnot, like, you definitely buy Pokemon. Yeah. That's, like, the whole, like, scheme behind, like, a lot of these team, you know, whatevers. Is that, like, they try and steal or capture rare Pokemon to sell to collectors that have a lot of money. Right. And it's like, I feel like they could have easily bought themselves some at least half decent Pokemon to have a fighting chance. I mean, a 10 year old that just started his journey a couple days ago yeah. is going through there beating the crap out of all of his guys. And he, he's not even like, you know, being like, maybe I should change up my plan. He's like, nah, nah. I feel like Rattatas are gonna win me this. It's like, are they? I mean, I just. I just stole some dirty mob money, and killed all their Pokemon, and now I'm just walking away. Yep. Yeah, but like, how many members does Team Rocket have? Because, I mean, that could also be a part of it. But, you know, even after that, Giovanni's still like super fucking rich. Maybe he just doesn't care. Perhaps. Well, Joss Race is like, I mean, he's already pretty rich. Like... What is his end goal here? Because I feel like he could retire now. He was pretty. He, he could live comfortably. Yeah, but I mean, there are some people who just still don't have enough money, at least in their own minds, anyway. Uh, fair enough point to an extent, but it's like it still raises the question: what what exactly his end goal is? I don't know. Because I feel like it, it couldn't be just like I need to continuously make money, right? But we are, uh, we're about out of time, so until next time, like, comment, subscribe, share our stuff all over the interwebs, and, uh, we'll see you next time. To Tallulah. Fillers. <laughs>